Uh, Michelle shared some information regarding suicide prevention education that is being required within the schools. But it's important to know that's really just the beginning of what our schools are doing. Um, this is obviously a particularly difficult time for our schools. And um, I can tell you that one thing our schools have in place is a risk assessment uh, that for children who are uh, at risk or identifying concerns for either suicide or potential harm to others, um, that there are school-based clinicians or through partnering with agencies such as Care Plus, um, we have ways of providing clearance assessments, again, when a youth expresses thoughts or an intent to harm themselves or others. Additionally, many schools are enhancing their approach to handling students with care who have experienced trauma and significant mental health concerns by creating assessment care teams. Care Plus is really fortunate to be partnering with the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office as a subawardee of a grant that allows us to provide grant funded trainings to the Bergen County schools on how to either develop or enhance these assessment care teams within their schools. Collaborations with the many support organizations such as Care Plus, Bergen Newbridge Medical Center, Children's Mobile, et cetera, improves how our community assists youth and families in times of crisis and provides responsive and effective interventions as soon as <clears throat> Schools partnering with agencies such as Care Plus to provide professional developments, develop trainings like Michelle mentioned, to their staff regarding suicide prevention, as well as risk assessment. And many schools have added mental health clinicians uh, and additional support services to their schools that are there every day. Schools are also increasingly focusing on understanding the importance of mindfulness and social emotional learning within the context of understanding the importance of our emotional health and well being, learning to talk about and handle feelings, cooperating and showing empathy to others through our interactions, recognizing how our body responds to stress. These are all critical skills for children to develop resiliency. Assisting youth in improving and applying their own self-regulation skills when they're upset, being able to reset themselves are all goals of social emotional learning and competency is a primary goal for schools to help students during this difficult time. So we're seeing a lot of wonderful work being done in our schools.